that's a good size. Not too big. Cause our tree last year was fucking huge. Usually a real tree costs like $25, $35. That's how much we usually pay for our trees. I'm almost positive this man said $72. And if he said $72, we leaving and we going to the hood because <laughs> we ain't never paid that much for no tree. And it's not a lot of money because it's a real tree, but I'm cheap. <laughs> and I know. I ain't never pay that much for no damn tree. So I think they up the tree price because of COVID. <laughs> I'm almost positive because we could not find any wood to build our fence because of COVID. And now Christmas tree is $82. 85. Oh, $85. <laughs> and we usually pay 35. I think at the most we might have paid 40. Might. And that was probably because we gave the guy a tip. I think last year it probably was like 50, uh, 55 dollars. I know that every year they do go up. But like $82? $82. Dollars. Uh -huh. $82. Dollars, I feel like for $82 it should come with lights. Sure. <laughs> like, you know what I'm talking about? We trend it and do all this. I don't care about none of that. I don't care about none of that. I ain't never pay that much for no Christmas tree. And I hate fake trees. And then the fake tree, if you want a decent look at fake tree, you gotta spend like three, four hundred dollars on it. And I'm not paying three, four hundred dollars. And I don't like clutter. So a fake tree to me, it's some that's nice, but you only use it one month out of the whole year and then the rest of the year is taking up space it's so hard to get it back to the original the first time yeah so the first year it'll be perfect it's Maybe perfect the second year because like the branches had time to relax a little bit but after that throw it away throw it away it looks stupid like i just feel like this if you ever go to a forest you never could see straight through a damn tree <laughs> not a christmas tree so why would you want a fake tree where you can see the whole inside? Like, they just look so cheesy. It's just not my thing. And I don't like white trees and all of that. Like, that's not Christmas. So, we will see. Maybe, maybe I'll go out again later. I don't know, but I'm not paying no $82. That's dead. That's dead. And I honestly feel like he just threw that price out there. Right. I honestly just feel like he just <laughs> threw that price out like, there. Where I really do feel like in 82. <laughs> talking about their individual Christ. Has all, all the same height should be the same. All price. of them. The same style. The Fraser fur, candy fur, whatever the heck the name is. These all of them. Four feet was this price. Six feet this price. Eight feet this price. Oh, uh, let me come and see which ones. You don't need yeah. to come see which one. You should know. <laughs> this one. This one right here. Oh, yeah. About 82. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> What's so special? <laughs> what did that tree tell you? <laughs> You're like, this one? Yeah. Bring you about $82. I don't know. And I'm going to trim know. it up and do all this, so, but, and that's going to be $3, so $85. It's crazy. Because no, when, you. when you get it, <laughs> maybe because we in the county. I don't know. I know we purchased a tree from the county before. Like this, no, he was, he upcharged us. That was an upcharge. That was an upcharge. That was a lunch break special. <laughs> oh, they disturbing me on my lunch? Yeah, because he was Let eating. Me, cause he was eating, see, he was eating. Let me charge them an extra $20 or something. Now, had he said $45, $50, because some of them trees felt a little small to me. Like they were short. Like they look kind of pudgy. You know, you ever see like a, a fat person but they really short and everything just look smooshed? Mm -hmm. That's how they look. So I don't understand why they cost that much. That's why at first I was like, did he say it start at 72? I know right, that's not what he right said. Start at 72. Wait, so the little baby ones that's so like smooshed? 
No, absolutely not. So we'll continue this. Hey, yo. So it's just me now. The missus had to go back to work. So we are going to attempt to find a Christmas tree, y'all. We usually have our Christmas tree by now, but I was BSing <laughs> because I don't have any holiday spirit this year, which is crazy because Christmas is usually my thing. Like, Christmas is my favorite holiday. It's always been my favorite holiday since I was a kid. And usually as soon as Thanksgiving hit, Christmas turns on for me. I get the tree. The house is all decorated, y'all. I just have not been in the mood this year. And I think it's a combination of things. COVID, of course, all the anxiety that has brought all of us. Um, I had a lot of family drama this year. I've been trying to digest the fact that I have to have this surgery in January. And... Honestly, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Honestly, I've become tired of people in 21, 2020. I've really become tired of people. And on my wife's birthday, we had this amazing party. It was fun. It was everything. One of her family members decided it was showtime and showed her complete ass. And in the process, I got disrespected. And I feel like at that moment the last bit of energy I had for people left my being at that moment so it's like ever since then I just have not been in the mood I'm not sad about anything um, I'm not overly happy about anything my just my whole mindset when it comes to people is like mm, 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 whatever and I'm trying to change that because this is the first year that my wife is like so holiday oriented, so family oriented. She ready to get this holiday season started. Like she's pumped. Thanksgiving was very hard and emotional for her because we usually spend it with her family. We couldn't do that this year. Um, so I really want to make Christmas special for her. And... I just don't have the energy because I'm sick of people. Like, I'm really sick of people. So, we're going to hope and we're going to pray that I go in here. I'm at Home Depot now. We're going to pray that I, one, just purchase a damn Christmas tree and nothing else. Because we're in the process of renovating our house. So, huh. And two, we're going to hope that when I get this tree it you know makes something shift in me and it brings my holiday spirit back because you know i want to make sure my wife and my baby have a good christmas i don't want to take my lack of energy because of others out on them so let's go make sure you grab your coat i don't know where you all live at but in maryland it's cold <laughs> it's currently 32 degrees right now and it is 2 30 so let's go we got success i think i'm gonna get this one it seems like it's small but it's actually a little taller than me and i'm five nine and a half this one is 49 the one in my cart is 29 this one is 49 and it's the same height, so I don't know why this one is smaller. Um, so we're gonna do this one. This is probably the smallest tree we have ever had. But this tall one is calling my name. What I tell y'all? I knew I was gonna come into uh, another part of the store, but we need some storm doors so I'm thinking about a little clear one on both the front and back door that way you can see you can actually see the door what I hate about our storm door now is you can't even see the damn door so it's like what's the point of having a really pretty door 
when you can't see it. I really like this. I really like this. This gotta go though. I really like that. That one. Uh, I could do it out. It's kind of plain. But I like that one. I'll be back. I need to check my measurements. See, this is what we have now. And I hate it. One, it looks old. <laughs> we are not seniors. I hate that. And two, it blocks the regular door. I would be happy with like a plain one like that. I don't know, but. And that is just hideous. Like, do the makers of doors think only old people? buy homes like i'm not understanding <sighs> here we go here we go here we go look at that isn't she sexy with her built-in blinds for our patio door oh my gosh i love having a truck do y'all see my passenger you okay boo you all right what I just folded them seats down and got the whole tree inside of the truck. I love truck life. I love truck life. I was being so cheap. I was not going to spend the money on a new vehicle, but I caught the deal of a lifetime with this two song. Get y'all a truck. If y'all shop a lot like me, if you got a lot of big packages like I always have, get you a truck i promise you it would change your whole life especially if you're about to have your baby a baby like all my ttc sisters like i think i was watching a, a vlog from simply tamika and she was thinking about getting a truck girl girl you about to have that baby you about to get pregnant go ahead and get you that tiguan go ahead i promise you it would change your whole life it would change your whole life